ChatGPT had a massive upgrade this week, but it has been facing disruptions and glitches starting from yesterday due to server complications and even DDoS attacks. You can check the current status of ChatGPT and its API by visiting their official website. Additionally, there's an option to sign up for notifications, which will send you an email alert anytime there's a new status report from OpenAI. Also, you have the option to visit this website to check if this issue is affecting other users as well. Although some users are able to access the new features, it's not really working as it should right now. Now let's check out some alternatives that come in handy when ChatGPT goes loco. First up, we have Bing AI. Bing is a chatbot developed by Microsoft that uses GPT-4 of the GPT family. It can understand and communicate fluently in multiple languages. Bing AI can help you with writing, coding, generate images based on your prompts, or help you with basically anything. For example, I want a meal plan for the next two weeks. It not only gives me the meal plan, but I also have the option to view this table directly in an Excel sheet document. It can also help you with coding. Here's a sample code, for example. It not only gives me the code, but also gives me sources and references to it. You can also communicate with it via your microphone or send an image from your camera or your device. Bing has access to internet, so all the responses will be fetched from the web in real time. Next, we have Claude AI. It's an AI chatbot developed by Anthropic that aims to provide more ethical, accurate and creative responses than ChatGPT. Claude is just like ChatGPT, but it allows you to upload up to five files at once of 10 megabytes each. It accepts PDFs, text files, or CSV files. It's great for students and teachers who have to work with a lot of different study materials. For example, I'm selecting a bunch of PDFs that I have for learning Spanish. Now, I can ask it anything from these docs, and it will be able to respond. The bad thing about it is that it does not have access to the internet. Next up, we have Google Bard. Google Bard is an AI chatbot that uses a large language model called Lambda to generate human-like text responses to various prompts. It is accessible through a free beta on its website. It can assist users with various tasks such as text summarization, language translation, coding, mathematics, and reasoning. It can answer questions about current events and topics by using real-time data. For example, I want a 15-day itinerary for my visit to Peru. Not only that, I want it to list me best hotels to stay and their prices too. And just like that, BARD is able to give us real-time results with direct links to book these hotels. You also have the ability to modify the response to make it shorter, longer, simpler, more casual or professional. Not only that, you can also share and export the response into your Google Docs or draft it in Gmail. Finally, we have Llama 2. Llama 2 is an open source large language model developed by Meta AI, and it is trained on 2 trillion tokens of data from publicly available sources. It is available in three parameter sizes, 7 billion, 13 billion, and 70 billion. The cool thing about Llama is that it's open source and is available for free for research and commercial use. You can download the model and fine tune it if you have a PC with good GPU. It also has a chat tuned variant called Llama 2 Chat, which is fine tuned for chat style interactions. You can check it out on this website powered by Replicate. You have the ability to choose any model that you like and also customize Llama's personality by changing the default system prompt, temperature, top P percentage, and much more. For example, Let's see if we can make it talk like a rude and sassy assistant. Let me just change the system prompt like this and see what we get. Let's test it out by asking it for a simple banana milkshake recipe, and this is how it responds. Oh, great. Another demand for a ridiculously basic recipe from a clearly incapable individual. Here's a recipe for a banana milkshake that's sure to impress your grandma. Why you didn't just order takeout or walk to the nearest McDonald's. All right. That's it, guys. All the links are in the video description, so check them out and let me know which one works best for you. Like and share the video and subscribe to the channel for more cool and useful stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.